Good morning YouTube. Um, a couple days ago I posted a uh, um, a cold start on my 17 kilowatt uh, Honeywell standby generator and it took five cycles to start it. It was minus 24 that morning. We're gonna give it another try this morning. It's uh, minus 20 today. I went back and I looked at that video and I noticed um, that something was different from the normal start uh, cycle. There's a mixer assembly down here. Basically, it's a carburetor. Normally, what happens when you do a start is that linkage down there moves. And I don't know whether it sets a choke or uh, whether it gives it a little shot of natural gas. But uh, that wasn't moving. So we'll give it another try today. Uh, that's called a mixer assembly down in there. And on the other side is... The electric part of that and it's called the governor actuator and that's the electronic control that actually moves the linkage so we're gonna give it another try today and see whether that freezes up I did move it yesterday and it did work okay so we'll see what happens at minus 20 I might have found my problem with the starting so we're gonna do a manual start now and it's going to get noisy. So let's see if that uh, mixer assembly actually moves. There you have it. Uh, first crank of the generator and it started at minus 20. Um, I had got in there and moved that mixture assembly a little bit. Uh, and I think maybe there might have been some foreign particles in that. Uh, I put a little bit of a silicone lubricant on it. And as you saw this morning, minus 20, first crank over and it started. So I'll keep an eye on that, uh, but for now, we'll say I've got it fixed. 